So the first images of our universe from the world's largest digital camera are now available for us to see, and it all comes from the Rubin Observatory in Chile. Kega 9's Vanessa Gongora joins us in the studio. Vanessa, a woman who helped start this whole project some 30 years ago lives in Tucson. This must be so exciting for her. Very exciting. Dr. Sydney Wolf was the first director of the Rubin Project, what used to be called the LSST, the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. She was responsible for finding partners to help build it, putting the core team together, selecting the site, establishing the design, writing construction proposals, and finding funding. So she did it all. So seeing these photos come to life 25 years in, she said was fascinating. 1998, the year it all started. Roger Angel at the University of Arizona had an idea about how to build a telescope that could look at a very large area in the sky at one time. Most big telescopes look at a tiny little area. Wolf said they wanted a telescope that would capture how galaxies evolve and how they're affected by their environment. The team chose to put the observatory in Chile because the U.S. National Observatory already operates there. More than a decade of planning and research finally led up to construction starting in 2014. Now, they finally got first light in April and we saw the very first images, and we know that the telescope will d operate just as well as we had dreamed it should, and so it was fantastic. It was a full circle moment for Wolf seeing the images come to life. I was in a room down at the U of A campus with a couple hundred people, and when they saw the image, they all clapped. <laughs> <laughs> it's thrilling. <laughs> The telescope will run for 10 years and catch some of the universe's biggest mysteries. If there's a killer asteroid that's out there that will impact the Earth, we'll find it. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory is considered a game changer and opens the door to even more experiments. School kids can get the excitement of doing original research and discovering something that nobody ever knew before. Reporting in studio, Vanessa Gangora, Kagan 9.